Hello everybody, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Now you may notice that the word thrifter is in my YouTube handle. The reason for that is because I usually buy my jewelry at thrift stores and yard sales. I don't usually pay very much. That's kind of the sport of it for me, is to try to find things at a really low price and sell them at a high price. But in this instance, I did kind of pay a high price. I wanna show you this jewelry that I just got. I haven't even really had a chance to do much research, so hopefully you guys can help me out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, and I'm very excited. These are all antique. I think I have a couple of Victorian things. I think you are going to really, really love some of this stuff as much as I do. I hope so. Anyhow, thanks for coming as always. Let's dig in. look at this handsome guy oh so that says dragon fur clip from the 30s or 40s now when i looked this up at the auction i looked this up i believe this is an unmarked scaparelli and if somebody knows i don't know if anyone has the book or anything uh, but there was a similar one on uh, this website called first dibs and I think that they really vet all their sellers and the pieces that they sell. I think so. Well, there was one that sold for under $2,000, but I'm thinking this might be super, super special. First of all, it's special, not even thinking about the Elsa Scarparelli thing. My understanding further from just taking a quick look on Google is that a similar one, and when I say similar, I mean actually the same exact one, only a pin, not a fur clip like this one is um, but according to my research there is the same one in a in a museum in paris because of the the scaparelli thing um but i i don't know i'm not sure i have to confirm that but this is kind of my favorite thing in life and i got other things that are also <laughs> my favorite things in life what do you think about this little guy he's absolutely magnificent isn't he this is a great dragon or griffin. I don't, mm, it kind of doesn't look like a griffin because it doesn't have the talons. But a couple of weeks ago, I did buy, uh, well, I bought another antique griffin and we were talking about what a griffin is. I think this is just a plain old winged dragon. <laughs> look at the face. How cute is he? Look at the teeth. Look at his tongue. That's ferocious, man. So that's the first thing. And I'm hoping this is going to be my kind of big ticket thing. But uh, we, we shall see. I'm certainly going to keep it for a while because uh, I'm in love. I don't know. I hope I'll be able to sell him. He's just outstanding. Really, really outstanding. And, you know, the thing with old jewelry like this is when would you ever find another one? You know, I only found one example online and that one was sold a long time ago. So that's the first one. Let's move on. Let's take a look at this box. Oh yeah, this one is insane also. Look at this little honey. What do you think about this? This is fab, absolutely fab. That is brass. Now this one is actually marked. It says China right there. Of course we don't want things that say made in China because that means it's new and, you know, uh, not, not the greatest of quality. But in this case, this is an antique. And I think this is absolutely stunning. My thinking, uh, I bought this at an auction, like I said. I did buy them piece by piece, but I think they all came from the same person. I don't know if they, they all came from the same collector or the same woman who owned these in the day. But I do want to just check to see if these are amethyst. And what is this, by the way? This, it's not a butterfly, right? Because it has these sort of, it looks like a beetle. I'm not really sure what it is. So somebody help me out. Tell me. But um, let me get my gem tester and let's see if those stones are amethyst. I'm thinking they are. Who knows if this feels like working today. I have three of these and this is the only one I have with me today. And I think this is the one that doesn't work so great. But we will see if it shows us anything at all so if it's amethyst it will be right in that lowest 
uh, bar right there. So we'll try the big stone first. It might just be glass, I don't know. It looks that way. Okay, let me try one of the littler stones here. Hmm. Okay, I guess they're just, let me just try again, hold on. Hmm. Uh, okay, that's kind of inconclusive, but I'm, I'm guessing this is just glass. I'll take a look at, at it with a loop and see if I can see any bubbles or anything. Uh, but that is pretty amazing. How unusual, right? That's why I had to buy these things. Because seriously, I'm like, when will I ever find anything again like this? That is just magnificent. Love him. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, yeah. This one's really pretty, too. This wasn't as, ex as expensive as the other ones. This is 800 silver. I think this is very interesting, too. Look at that. I love this drop. And I also love this link. It's a nice, simple link. This is another nice antique. Um, yeah, who knows if that's original to it or not. I'm not sure. But I think this is really beautiful. Look at that pink. What do you think? Is this probably Czech? Is that what we're thinking? I wonder if this is glass or quartz. Want to give it a quick test? So let's see what this might be. It is. Okay. Well, that's good to know. This is beautiful. And one thing I really love about it is how it's large. It's large and very statement-y. Oh, man, I love that. This has some nice weight to it. Beautiful can of teal. This is gorgeous. I'm not sure why they said it was 800 silver. Not sure if it's marked. Maybe the auction house tested it. Uh, not exactly sure. But um, yeah, that one's a beauty. What do you think? As always, please let me know what your favorites are. I would love to know. They're kind of all my favorites. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm kind of partial to that first dragon guy. But okay, what do you think about this? So this should be uh sterling whoa how lovely are you that's beautifully cut is it amethyst is it glass i don't know we're going to find out now i was thinking that it's probably made like this with the longer dangle in the middle but it it certainly is a possibility that this these other ones were had smaller kind of stones at the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure. This one wasn't a ton of money, but it is really lovely. Look at that. Let's take a look at the catch. Who knows if the catch is original or not? You never know, right? Let's see what we got. Oh, is there none? Hmm. Oh, there you are. Spring ring. Hmm. Uh, don't know. And that's a sterling right there. Wow. I love this thing. Let me uh, take my tester back out. We'll just take a look at that stone. Mm, it looks like glass, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's try one of the clear ones. Let's see if this is glass, too. Mm. Uh, yeah, I got to get my other tester and, and uh, try these at another time. I think this thing is good for nothing today. I'm going to turn it off and just forget the whole testing thing. What do you think about that? That's really nice. This is probably the back part of it, this bullet part, but I actually would wear it like that. I kind of like that side of it. That's really incredible. It's very long. Let's have a look at this loveliness. This one is quirky. Now, this is a very rare item also. Look at this magnificence. What, what? 
Now this is very, very typical of George N. Steer's designs. His stuff does fold over like that. This is signed. It is a George Steer piece. It says GNS right there. So there's not a huge body of work from this jeweler because he only was in business from 1906 to 1911. I think that's correct. He was based in Providence and he was known for using brass that was gilt and glass. So that's likely not a real stone, but I love this thing. I really do like spider jewelry. I mean, I don't have a ton of it, but this is really unusual and I think it's just amazing. It's a really, really good one, right? Let's take another look here at the back. Very nicely made. Wow, it's in nice condition also, right? Oh my Lord. I, I'm in love. What do you think? Are you in love? I'm in love. I have two things left, two necklaces. So a lot of times when you go to an auction, they just throw it in these old boxes. But hey, this is an awesome box. Look at this. Meshmates, Whiting and Davis. Love that box. I could probably sell this box alone for a little something. Um, let me see. Let me just peek in here. Uh, yeah. Okay. I just want to show it in the right order because there's one necklace I want to save for last. So let's take a look at this one first without revealing the one underneath. That would be a surprise. Look at this loveliness. Wow. 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 I don't know if these beads or jet uh, are jet or glass. I love this. Now this was advertised as a mourning necklace, I guess, because it's black. Could we prove it? No, I guess we kind of couldn't. We could make the assumption. I want to put it on my neck though. This is outstanding. And I was actually wearing this earlier today. I have a t-shirt on today, but it looked really good even with just a t-shirt on. Oh, I love you. You are beautiful, aren't you? I think this may be jet. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to have to check that out a little bit further, but it does meet a lot of the criteria. Jet is, of course, a gem, but it is a, a lowest, the lowest form of coal, and it is millions of years old. It is lightweight. It's shiny like this, um, and it's room temperature. This is room temperature. I'm not sure about the lightweight part. It's kind of hard to tell with all this brass, but I will check that out further. It might just be glass, you know, or French jet. I'm going to check it out. I don't care what it is. This is absolutely gorgeous. Let's look at the last thing. This thing really makes me flip. I love this last necklace that I think is from the 1920s. Check it out. Here it is. The last thing that I got at this auction. Isn't this nice? I've never seen anything quite like this. This is, I guess, a braided silk cord, this necklace part. And then there is a matching tassel at the bottom. And that's not really a flaw. It's just where this attaches here. And that just needs to be kind of cleverly tucked in somehow. I have to try to do that. But look at this part. Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at those way cool snakes. This is a carnelian. What an incredibly beautiful piece this is. And it's very, very long. Kind of this flapper length. It just keeps on going. No maker or anything like that but I, I love snake jewelry. Do you? I really do. I don't like snakes, but I love snake jewelry, and I think this is just very unusual. Uh, let me try to put this on my neck. It's really long. I might have to double or triple it, but let's see how it looks. I did just double it up. Wow, that's a knockout and a half, don't you think? And this is really in nice condition. Sometimes you see these and they're completely frayed, you know, after all of these decades. 
Wow, what a gorgeous, gorgeous piece this is. Well, that's all I have for this time. Thanks a million for watching, everybody. Thanks for coming to my channel, as always. Thanks for all the wonderful emails and nice messages I get. I really appreciate you guys very, very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, all right? Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Take care, everybody. I will catch you soon. Bye-bye.